and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see here, we're going to make some really simple fried chicken. I'm using drumsticks today. You could be using a different part if you want. We're going to make a really, really simple seasoned flour. These are super, super, super easy to make and really, really delicious. Oh wow, delicious. Let's do it. Okay, so first we're gonna make our seasoned flour. The flour that I like to use is corn flour or corn starch, which is the same thing. You could be using a different flour if you wanted. So to that, we're gonna add some spices. So we're gonna add one part or, there's like one teaspoon there to five of these. So yeah, let me just show you that. One of these guys, there's five of these for the flour. All the spices are going to be in these. So one chili powder, one garlic powder, one celery salt, one black pepper, I'm using a kind of coarse grain one, and then here half of cumin and half coriander. If you wanted, you could be adding extra salt, but I've already got that celery salt in there, I kind of usually find that to be enough. So we're just gonna give this a little mix around. Uh, you could also add a little bit of turmeric, which will give it a little bit of color, or a food coloring if you wanted, but we're gonna stay away from that today. So that is our little mixture. Let's move on. So, there's our seasoned flour. I mean, again, you could be playing around with that, adding a few other bit, little bits. I like that little selection. Here I've got some fine breadcrumbs. You could be using a panko if you wanted for a kind of rougher edge. And some eggs. I've got three eggs there, we're gonna beat them. Now we're gonna dip, 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 and fry. Okay, so let's just take a piece of chicken. I'm using chicken legs today. What we're gonna do is get that in its flour. Make sure you get all the ends on there. Okay, and just give that a little shake. And then we're gonna go egg wash. Again, you need all sides covered. Then we're gonna go breadcrumbs. We're gonna coat that over. Now I'm using that hand, only one hand. Breadcrumbs use a different hand. Um, and that's it, we're done. If you wanted, you could double dip. I don't find it that necessary. So, flour, egg, breadcrumbs. Pretty simple. Let me finish that, then we can move on. So this is what we should end up with. Nicely coated chicken there. Okay, now we can move over to the cooker. We're gonna fry these off. Okay, so here we are at the cooker, and I've got in there, I don't know, three, four centimeters of oil. I'm using corn oil. You can be using any oil you want. You don't particularly want to be using olive oil or something like that. You know, you want a kind of low smoke point. Olive oil's got a very high smoke point. Okay, we need to get this oil to about 350 degrees. So you don't want, let me just turn this down a little bit. We don't want our, chi our chicken to burn. If, if the oil is too hot, it's just gonna burn to pieces and be raw inside. So let's just check this out. That's good, see? That's a kind of gentle temperature. So yeah, about 350, once the chicken goes in, the temperature drops down to even as low as 300. Now we wanna cook this for about 12 to 15 minutes you want to turn it a few times. But like I say, a nice, gentle, gentle frying. Otherwise, burnt on the outside, raw on the inside, not what we're looking for. Again, internal temperature should be like 165. I'll be back when they're done. I'm gonna turn it a couple of times. 
So as you can see, want a nice slow bubble there without oil. I've just got a, you know, three or four more minutes to go, then she'll be ready. Okay, there we go. There's our chicken. What I'm going to do is get that onto some kitchen towel. What that will do is just get all of the excess oil off. Beautiful, beautiful chicken that is. Now I've still got three more bits to go, but what we need to do is get the temperature back up because that has dropped considerably. So let's just get the temperature up a little bit, get it to kind of like 350, then we're going to cook off the rest. See you at the table. Okay, there you go. Really, really simple. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?